Hello everyone and welcome to the fifth tutorial in this series. Today we are going to continue where we last ended. In the previous tutorial we created a publisher node which published a message to a topic. And in this tutorial we are going to create the other end which is a subscriber which is going to subscribe to the topic we published and read the message from the publisher. So let's begin. So the first thing that we want to do is that we want to create a new file in our source folder in our package. So I just right click new file and I will call mine subscriber subscriber underscore node. And what I want to do is that I want to include the same files and the main function and so on as we had in the publisher. So I will just write this quickly and then I will come back. Okay, so now when I have set up the basic main function, what we are going to do is that we want to create a subscriber object. And to do that, we just type, take it from the ROS package. So we make it like this. So we create a subscriber object. So I will call mine just uh, topic underscore sub. So we do as we did last time. So we just from our node handle up here, we have a function which is called subscribe. So we will just call nh.subscribe. And it, this function takes three arguments, which is first the topic name. So the topic name that we made in the previous tutorial was tutorial. So I will just subscribe to that topic. Then I have my message queue on how many messages we store before we throw some away. So I will put 1000 here. And then the third argument is the callback function. So the callback function in this context is what the function that we're going to call every time we see that a new message has been incoming. So I will just call this write message to blog or something. So I'm, we're going to create this function soon. But before we do that, we just want to finish up the main function. So what we want to add now is just a ROS spin like this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create this write message to log function. And I want to do it above the main function. So I type void write message to log. So what I take as an argument is and the actual message that we receive. So when we subscribe to this topic, we call this callback function write message to log. And we know that this tutorial topic returns a standard message of type string. So what I want to do here is that I want to create, take in a constant standard underscore messages string and what I get is a constant pointer so like this and then we want to have an like this and I will just call this message so now I have created a write message log to log function so to write this message what I want to do is that I just want to write this message to a log so I just type ros info and in here what I want so I will just print the, the message that we received was colon and a like this present and a s and then comma and the message data dot c online string like this so just a quick review of the code that we have been writing what we do is that we initialize the node we create a node handle which starts the node 
And what we do is that we subscribe to the topic tutorial. And when we receive a message here, we will call, call to the <coughs> function write message to log, which receives the message, which, which is of the type standard message. And what it does is actually it logs the info or print in the console that the message that we received was and the message we're receiving. And what this ROS bin does is that it just loops and waits for incoming uh, messages. So what we want to do next is just to update our CMake lists. So we open it up and I, in this file we just want to add two things, which is that if we go now down to our add executable, we can just copy this one. And we want to add a new one, which is our subscriber node. So we type subscriber here. And we also want to set subscriber here like this. And then we want to add the dependencies to it. So we will copy this line too. And add subscriber here. And here. And then we're done. So, oh, so you also want to copy your target link libraries here. So you create, yes, create a new one and then you <coughs> add your node, your subscriber node here. So that's what pretty much what we want to do. So we'll just save this one. Go back to our subscriber node and make sure we have saved it also. So what I want to do now is that I want to open up my terminal. And what I want to do here is just that I want to go to my, my workspace. And what I want to do in here is that I want to run catkin underscore make to build a project. And hopefully, hopefully we don't get any errors. But as we can see, we did get an error. So it says Ross has not been declared. So okay. So I, <laughs> I see we can guess that this should be in small letters. So we just type Ross info in small letters like this, and we run the function. Oh, actually, I know, I know what this is. This is not. This so this is spelled like this ros underscore info like this and then it will print to the log. So we we'll go back and we run the build script again. And as we see now we have build a subscriber node. So to run this, what we want to do and to try this out is that I'm going to now split the terminal into smaller windows. So we'll create like this. And it's so <clears throat> what I want to do here, the first thing is that I want to start my ROS core. The next thing that I want to do in this window here, what I want to do is that I want to go to my workspace tutorials. And in here, I want to source my setup.bash like this. And what I want to do next is that I want to run the publisher node. So to do that, I just run ROS run, the name of our package, which is tutorial, tutorial two, and the publisher node. And as we saw in the last tutorial, we, it's not so interesting. It doesn't print anything, it just runs. So what I want to do now in the first terminal is that I want here to also source the devil set up bash script and then I can type ROS run tutorial 2 which is the name of our package and then I want to run the subscriber node. So as we can see it prints the log as soon as it receives a message and the message that we published from the publisher node is hello world and we said to it that it should write out to the log that the message that we received was hello world. And as we can see, we receive this every second, which is nice. So hopefully this helped you out.
please like and subscribe the video if you liked it i appreciate it a lot so see you in the next tutorial where we will be looking in more into services so see you then